the nature of uh, absorbing a book, a novel, uh, any book really, but mainly novels, was something that uh, I had to learn and acquire over the years. Um, and my family not being in the habit of reading. And so I think one of the first ones I read was uh, uh, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, and then uh, uh, Moby Dick, and The Tin Drum, and, and uh, been able to some Dostoevsky to get through that. Um, and over the years, uh, it was more film viewing than novels. And uh, by the time I got to read Age of Innocence, it was about 1985, I think, 86, and, and uh, I became struck very much by the nature of the language that Edith Wharton is using, and uh, the sense of um, a detached irony, in a way. And particularly, um, lines like, uh, and with a chill he knew that in, in the future many things like this would be decided for him. And these are adjustments one makes in a relationship and a marriage. Um, but the character of Archer seems to be a man who's trapped in this, and yet he's moving along straight, moving along straight to his own imprisonment. And I like the way the words imprisoned him, but I love the sound of the words. And I, I wanted to, to, uh, to um, almost to imbue the entire film with the language from the book. And other people say, that's not how you do make a film, a novel into a film. Yes, you can do many different things. You could probably sometimes the best way of, of doing it, you can't replicate a novel, the experience of reading a novel, but you take the essence of a novel and make a film of it somehow. To look at the Hemingways, to have it have not, or the breaking point, the same, the same version with John Garfield. Uh, was considered the best version of the Hemingway stories on film. But um, I just uh, love the language and I love the nature of the power of how she expressed <coughs> his future, his, the fat fatalism of his future, and what, and what he was what he was up against. And ultimately, ultimately too, I know that she, she writes, um, uh, I took it from the, from the man's point of view, looking at it, and I was as surprised as he was, the fool that I am, um, when he realized that May and everyone else knew at a certain party that he was in love with Ellen. And I was stunned by that. And I said, that's a great effect. And I said, like a fool, I was taken along by her language. And, you know, it was just, I wanted to recreate that. And I wanted to also provoke, in a way, the nature of um, language uh, being used on the soundtrack in that, in that manner, not coming from characters, but in voiceover. Uh, an overlay of it, so much so that uh, that um, uh, it would provoke a discussion or say this is wrong or this is right or whatever. I mean, really, really make it controversial. And kind of not controversial, but in the sense that uh, uh, I just wanted to, to, in a sense, throw the gauntlet down about the use of language that way in cinema. And the use of widescreen, mm -hmm. Michael Dallahouse, the decision to use widescreen for this. Uh, yes, the use of widescreen. Um, uh, again, the nature, the nature of the film, the use of widescreen goes back to, uh, I mean, the closing of the screen with, uh, with um, uh, certain uh, masks that we use were references to when I saw the first version of Boba Montez back in 1968. I like what Max Olfels was doing with the widescreen. Um, I like widescreen a lot. I don't know if I really know how to use it well enough. Um, I might go back to uh, 185 soon, but uh, uh, I'm just not sure if I know how to use it well enough the way um, the way Kazan used it in 1955, the way Sam Foley used it, the way Nicholas Ray used it, and some of the other great filmmakers, Kurosawa, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. And so Ichikawa, all of that. And so um, here we were experimenting with that. The use of paintings, the use of the, use of, um, the sense of the, the uh, texture of the paint uh, dissolves across the table over the, over the flower arrangements um, to be like brushstrokes in this world that was just uh, teeming with sensuality. You know, but had to be restricted. I found that interesting restriction of all that.